data nilalelu msaga azo hamba pambili kakulu ithe kasi heartbeat ili nja hello this is puleng from worship house tulula otobo you are tuned into the number one radio station the kasi heartbeat liandra fm Yes, it is the number one station, the Kasi Heartbeat, uh, Leandra FM. Uh, you are tuned in to uh, the Last Supper uh, Revival. And uh, your host is uh, the Duke underscore on radio, your mom's favorite boyfriend. Yes, it is indeed your mom's favorite boyfriend. Um, uh, uh, we are not sure how many boyfriends your mom has. Anyway, I'm kind of very special. Um, it's a Thursday, Usuglo Mama, and we decided to go to let us bring a woman. Um, she is a speaker, she is a uh, matendin, um, they always say, a bulldozer, a caterpillar, you know, <laughs> when they exaggerate those pastors. <laughs> Uh, sine caterpillar, sine bulldozer. Uh, we've got an international speaker uh, as well as a conference speaker. I'm from this one, so born. Oh wow, what an introduction! Well, well, uh, there's no light detected there. Eh? <laughs> Well, we grew up like I that. Can't you. I can't fault you. <laughs> we grew up like yeah, no, that. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you so man. Much. You can just introduce yourself and then uh, you can take it away. Okay. So, uh, my name is Takar Mohale, uh, the founder and leader of Lancer Doctor Ministries in Jobek, Marshall Town. Uh, I'm originally from Dimpopo and uh, currently residing in Jobek. I'm a preacher of wood. Yeah. So, I don't know if okay <laughs> yeah yeah i think uh, the, the interesting part is the fact that um you are in the in marshall town the cbd of uh, johannesburg and yes. uh, that's where you're teaching the word where i think yo jovek yo 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 jovek is jovek is gomorra <laughs> jovek is so rough yeah but we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, go back to God as I always say that God must give us this place as our inheritance. Wow. Uh, so the gospel needs to be preached in the city also, just like we preach in any other place. So yeah, yeah, God is good. God is good. Amen. Okay, you can take it away. What is uh, the Lord saying tonight? Um, uh, what's burning in my heart actually is the concept that God has given me. Uh, it's been it's been a month now that I've been studying on, actually meditating on, and God has been teaching me slowly, daily. You know, just putting some nuggets in my spirit as I read or actually socialize with other people. That uh, 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 the birth of Christ, the life of Christ, the word of God, mm. uh, God was truly explaining Himself to us. Mm. Okay. So when God gives visions and prophecies and events. And objects in the Bible, God, when God makes certain things happen that resembles or point to Christ, He was actually explaining Himself to human beings because now God had to form or God had to come up with a way to speak to us. And one of those ways that God uh, uh, used to speak to us was prophecy, and one of the other ways was the written word of God. Hmm. That those people that God actually inspired the Bible. Says, the Bible says that uh, the Word of God is an inspiration to teach and correct us. The people that wrote the Bible, through the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, they wrote it as a form or a medium of communication between men and God. Because after Aiden fell, he fell from the communion, from the fellowship, from the intimacy. So God, because God could no longer be in a zone with Adam or in a close proximity. So God now had to find a way to communicate with Adam and Adam's descendants. And now we have the written word of God, that God now drops revelation. And the book of Genesis, though we know that when Moses writes, he writes according to a vision and revelation. He was not necessarily there. We know that in the in, in the beginning when creation took place, Moses was not there. Mm. So now God has had to reveal to, to to people like Moses uh, certain things and Moses would write according to the revelation that he would 
a get from God in his spirit. He writes the book of Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. And you can understand that these chapters or this way that God inspired Moses to write, it, it's not actually something that you can you can read and understand. It needs you to have the interpretation from the Holy Ghost. Mm. Because God now reveals to Moses not in clear way some of the things are very hidden, like the, the, the story of Adam and Eve, how they felt. The Bible says that God planted a garden in the east of Eden and put the men to kill and take care of it, but the serpent was there. Now, if you're reading these chapters in Genesis according to the revelation God gives Moses and Moses writes down, you'd be very confused if you're reading the Bible as a letter without the spirit. Mm. So now, we find that God explains himself through the Holy Ghost. That's why when Jesus left, he said, I'm not leaving you as orphans, but I will ask my Father to send you the comforter. Mm. He will teach you, he will remind you, and he will speak of me. And he will glorify the word, and he will speak nothing unless he hears it. Mm. So we understand that the word of God, Jesus Christ is the word of God, is being interpreted by the Holy Ghost. So God now in these times, he brings the Holy Spirit to come and interpret, come and explain who Christ is. Mm. After we have received the word of God, which is the written locus word of God, we are able to read and understand some of the events, some of the people that God raised as leaders and as anointed people. But at the end of the day, we need to understand that though God formed events and people to, to explain certain things, but the Holy Ghost is the one that comes to even reveal more of Christ in Scripture. So God was teaching me that everything that took place in the Bible, because there's nothing that is useless or obsolete in the Bible, that God found it worthy to be written in the Bible. God was saying to me everything from Adam 4 uh, to Cain and Abel's betrayal. He says from Noah's flood to Joseph being jailed, God was explaining Christ, but God could not bombard us the word at, at once. God yeah. could not say to Adam, because you have fallen, I am going to tell you what's going to take place in plain words. God now says to Adam uh, uh, and Eve, he says, because you have done this, but uh, 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 the woman shall carry a seed and her seed shall touch the, the, the head of the serpent. You can understand that God now is revealing Christ, but in concealed matters. Yeah. That's why the Old Testament is concealed, but the New Testament is revealed. Now, wow. we have to put nuggets as time goes on, when we go to Genesis, the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt, we understand that God now, in that story, is actually portraying Christ. He's actually communicating Christ, that you shall have a savior. But God could not take Adam there. So God waits throughout generations. Hmm. Abel becomes a, a type of Christ in how he dies and how he was slain and, and how his blood cries out. Mm. But God now could not bombard us, bombard us with information. God now takes it generation to generation. He takes it one step at a time. And you ask me, why did the Israelites spend so many years in the desert while God said they would spend four days to worship him? God now understood that I need to explain Christ to these people that I, I have, have now come out of Egypt bit by bit. And as they walked, God explained. Mm. And as they walked, appear the bible says that as as they walked in uh, during the day there was a cloud and during the night there was a cloud of fire that was explaining christ himself so now we understand that god now in in in, in the prophets in jeremiah and isaiah he releases certain nuggets of prophecies because he cannot bombard jeremiah with all the prophecies mm. of the messiah he cannot bombard Isaiah with, with all the prophecies of the messiah so God uses people to deliver and and communicate the the, 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 the the life of Christ, but not to one person he gives the peace, to another he gives peace, to another he gives an event, to another he gives a situation. We understand that Hannah was barren for a long time, but when she gave birth, she gave birth to a prophet that was actually used mighty by God. Mm. And we see that as also a type of of, 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 of of the church and Christ also. So now God now receives these certain people and, 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 and people become become example examples of Christ or become a type of Christ without even sometimes without their knowledge. 
sometimes without their permission. We look at the life of Job. Job now, the Bible said that he was a blameless man in the land of fools, and God gave him away. Hmm. And, and, and in that life of Job, we actually see Christ. God was actually uh, 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 giving us a picture of Christ, but Job did not do anything wrong. Even sure. Job says, Job, did you actually offend God for you, for such a thing to befall you? And Job says, I did nothing wrong. The Bible says that Job took everything from his, 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 his sheep, his cattle, all the livestock that he had. He lost his children, all of them, and he lost his health. Job lost his health. And God says to Satan, he says, you can take everything, but do not take his life. Mm. So what am I saying to, 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 to a present day believer? I'm saying that the examples have not stopped. Mm. Us, us being even the examples of God have not stopped. Us even explaining God through our life, it has not stopped. God can actually use our life to explain certain things to the world. Wow. God uses our situation to explain certain things to the world. Mm. And God will still use our words. God still use our bodies and our minds to still explain certain things to the world. Mm. So God is actually teaching me uh, 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 throughout the Bible. I'm explaining my plan, but because you are now an embodiment, you are carrying in you the full uh, Godhead. You are also now a, an explanation to the world. Mm. Wow, wow. So when the world sees us, we are supposed to be an explanation without words. When the world sees us, we are supposed to speak mercy of God without preaching. The world is supposed to say when they look at us, we we they supposed to see the fruit. The Bible mm. says that they shall see the fruit and they shall glorify the Father in heaven. It speaks of this that we now have to be that explanation and that example in the world. So they may not go through us. Mm. The Bible says that, uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, I can see that when people look at Abraham and look at how he feared God and look at his faith upon God, they understood this man fears God. So we're supposed to be such type of people that when people look at us because of our acts and because of how we carry ourselves and because of the lifestyle we have chosen, people are supposed to conclude without a doubt in their mind, even though they're not believers, but as opposed to point at us and say, that's what she's carrying God. Mm. So we're supposed to be active examples and active explanations mm. on the earth realm. Because the reason why we still carry this body on the earth realm, the reason why our temple is still running, the reason why we are still breathing on the earth realm, is because we're supposed to use us something. We're supposed to manifest us something. We're supposed to carry something the world that would actually uh, uh, reveal more of God to the world because our evangelism is not only in words, Paul said, I do not come to you only in words, but also in demonstration of the power of God. Mm. The power of God is not necessarily words, but it is an atmosphere, it's present. When you are here, the, 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 the sick must be healed. When you are here, those who are feeling pain, they must be healing instantly. We are supposed to be an explanation of the power of God without words. <laughs> Wow. So, so, so God is telling me that, 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 that I need people that are going to give themselves so I can explain myself through them to the world. Jesus. So God was saying, Satani, I need you to give yourself to me so that I can explain myself to the world through you. Oh my word. It's like, it's like understanding the full revelation and the concept of, of us being the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Meaning, inside the temple, the Holy Ghost has has rights to every corner. The Holy Ghost has rights to every uh, 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 every every place. We cannot say the Holy Ghost. You, I include you in at my work, in my career. I include you in my ministry, but but in this area, you cannot tell me what mm, to do. Can't chop and choose. Yeah. Yes. A temple, when we say we are a temple of the Holy Ghost, meaning the soul, the body, and the mind, and the spirit fully must be sub uh, submerged and must meet under the will of the Father. Mm. 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 Which, is, which, is, which is difficult and I understand. But then we need to come to a level where every area of our life is in submission. Mm. So we can understand the power of God. So we can walk in hospitals 
And just by passing, just by your presence, people are getting healed. Why? The whole of you is in submission. The whole of you is in submission. And and I remember in Get the Money, a cry says, I wish this cup may pass. He had a wish. But he understood that there is a higher dimension of the Father's will. Mm, mm, so mm. we are in we are in our personal wishes, but there is a higher dimension of the Father's will. So we're supposed to understand that dimension that God lives in, the, in, in those realms. God lives in those dimensions where a person is fully submissive. A person is fully submerged under the will of the Father. Hmm. Hmm. Amen. Whether publicly or, 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 or secretly. Yeah. Completely, you're saying you're completely... Um, Submerged to the will of God, whether it's in public or it's in secret. Yeah, because publicly we can, but privately we, we struggle. Hmm. Publicly hmm. we are good. We are, you, you know, you know. I used to tell people, you, you used to say I'm a good preacher. I admit sometimes, but I also tell you, preaching is a dynamic. It, it, it those are dynamics. You learn to preach. You learn how to project your voice. Hmm. Mm. Mm. But fellowship with God. Mm. Is, is a relationship, is a walk. You don't learn how to fellowship. You don't learn how to be intimate with God. Every day is new. God touches you in a different way and you feel different things. Three things are gifts and these are dynamics and you can learn. But you cannot you cannot learn God in the secret place. Mm. You cannot get enough of the presence of God and say, yesterday uh, I felt like this today when I feel God every day makes you feel in a different way. Mm. So publicly we can we can we can preach and we can be calm or we can look like but privately you find that you are beaten. Jesus. <laughs> so I would say let the will of God invade our private spaces. <laughs> because publicly it has. Privately we are defeated. That's why sometimes we can't we are not bold in public to declare the power of God. Mm. If you are privately defeated, you cannot stand boldly like Peter and, and declare things about the Lord to a, a multitude of 3,000 people. Jesus. Hmm. So we power. We need, we need, we, we need multitudes and souls and soul to come to the kingdom. We need to see people in you know, We need to see people delivered. We need to see uh, uh, chains and addictions and habits broken. But these things uh, they have to start and God has to teach you in the secret place and you have to learn this in the secret place so when you go outside you are just a manifestation mm. you are a vessel you are a medium for God to work wow. wow God is ready God is powerful but we have not yet given ourselves wholly to what is the power of God or to the power of God so that we can experience it in ourselves because the power of God is not the one you experience in the pulpit it's the one you would experience in the secret place mm. and you want people to know in public because you tasted it you can't speak of something you did not taste in the secret place publicly mm. you mm. can't yes so when god begins to show you certain things in private during your prayer time and say this is how you do deliverance this is how you pray for people this is how you speak and and God will begin to teach you this is how uh, you handle yourself when you are you are you are inappropriate. This is how I want you to preach. And all these that God will begin to, to to tell you and show you and teach you. When you go to the pulpit, you are just a manifestation now because mm. God has taught you already. Mm. Jesus. So yeah. So yeah. So now uh, that's another topic. That's sort of pneumatology. Uh, the view of the Holy Ghost. Who is the Holy Ghost? And, 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 and how we should fellowship with him, relate with him, how we should teach us, and so forth. Wow. God is still revealing himself. God is still revealing and explaining himself, even today, through us. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was powerful. Amen. That Amen. was powerful. Amen. Well, uh, Amen. it means that this is a series and... Uh, you will definitely be back on a weekly basis. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave us this dry. <laughs> 
you cannot uh, make us taste the wine and not uh, give us the bottle <laughs> god is still yes. revealing and explaining himself wow exactly. i learned exactly. wow exactly. Exactly. how do we get hold of you how do we connect with you how do we come to the church where is it located and all that yes uh we are going to resume our physical gathering very soon but we're in marshall town in what the commissioner uh, uh, uh but for inquiries about that you can connect with me on facebook uh my facebook name is sakan mohale like doctor i also have a channel a youtube channel where we have uploaded more than 30 teachings by now it's sakan mohale the channel's name is sakan mohale and my podcast my podcast is sakan mohale you can find it in the spotify or apple podcast and 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 other podcast platforms so yeah I should tell Thank the listeners so that um, on Facebook Messenger you respond within 10 seconds. I experienced <laughs> it myself, guys. <laughs> when she tells you that you can connect oh with her on Facebook God. within 10 seconds. I don't know if it's because it was me. I mean, you know, I'm your mom's favorite Thank boyfriend, you. but hey. Thank you. <laughs> and I said, I knew you were late because I have my people. Oh. And I said, I knew you were late. Okay, I want to. Okay, this is for us. And, and you, you greeted me very well. I was like, okay, let me attend to this. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you've got the secret. The greeting is very important. <laughs> <laughs> you salute me very well. The greeting is very important. <laughs> Thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you so much for blessing us. Oh, it's a pleasure. And oh, we will definitely. This was very nice. Mm, it was very it? nice. Yeah. So um, it does. Uh, it's that's a, a way um, of you telling us that you will definitely come back very soon, right? Oh, definitely. I'm coming back, and I can't wait for Holy God to teach me more about this subject. Actually, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Amen. We get it hot, guys. It's it's like the fresh bread, you know. The the priest would always take to the temple, <laughs> you know. Um, um, as as the Lord speaks uh, to the pastor, we we get it fresh on Leandra FM. Um, that is why we call it the Kasi Heartbeat. We will never be disappointed. This is the last supper revival. Uh, the last supper alone. That term, the last supper. Um, if you understand what happened there and then you understand the word revival, you'd know that uh, we do not have much time. These are the end times. We, I believe, the last generation. And God is calling us and God is, is just sweeping and sweeping and sweeping, cleaning up before the second coming of his son. Mfundiswam, thank you so much for blessing us. May the good Lord bless oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My mother's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha Cobbs saying gracefully broken. That was Opasta Zakani Mohade saying God. Welcome to the number one station, the Cast Heartbeat, the Android FM.